play. We are live. Hello and welcome to the first session on branding marketing for District 95 PR. Uh, we are live. My name is Shahrukh Hossein. I am the District 95 Manager PR. I am very fortunate to be joined with Jules Carter, world's leading brand expert. And she knows Toastmasters branding better than anyone I know. And I'm very fortunate that she's taken the time out and she's gonna to talk to us about how to brand and get the message out and get more people through the door, as she puts it. Hi, Jules, how are you? Hi, Shurik, I'm very good, thank you. How about you? I am doing really well. I'm really excited to learn what branding is and how it's defined because I understand marketing. People understand a little bit of what the foundations of marketing is, getting the message across, but to be consistent and the things that you told me while we were designing this session are really, really important. So over to you, Jules. Thank you. One of the things about branding is it's one of those words that's out there and no one actually really knows what it means. We <laughs> think, but we don't. Yeah, it's so important in our marketing. So we'll begin with why it's important in the marketing. If I was to be a fairy of the smartphones and say, there you go, have a smartphone. And if you're an Apple guy and I've given you an Android you, there'd be a little part of you that would be disappointed and vice versa because marketing and branding within this is one of the most profound examples we have in the modern world we are so used to our smartphones being and working the way they are that when we i'm an apple girl so if i'm given an apple i will know that i can upload my current settings onto my new phone, no problems. If I have a problem, there's a guy at the end of the helpline who'll sort it out for me. I'm mm. gonna know how to use it. All the buttons will be in exactly the same place as my last one. My expectations are set and they are met. And that is why I trust Apple. It's exactly the same for all my colleagues who prefer Androids. They, that's what they've used, that's what they're comfortable with. And that's what brand. Brand is the expectation that you have because of what you're associated with that product. In this case, it was an apple. In my case, it's Toastmasters. So if I asked you what you would expect when you went into a Toastmasters meeting, you would say prepared speeches, evaluations, table topics. And then as we delve a little bit deeper, it would be about the support, the community, the growth, the opportunities to learn and to understand how you appear to other people. And that is what that little logo that's above my head says. That little logo says, this is Toastmasters. You will learn to speak, you will learn to lead, and you will learn to evaluate. So why throw away the 10 plus years of work Toastmasters has given you to create one little symbol, one little word that will tell people all that? That is very valuable information, you know, consistency and we can leverage it's like you're part of one of the biggest brands in the world so why do we need to create recreate anything and uh, it will definitely cause confusions there are brands which are in different parts of the world and they use the same colors the same image as you said this small little logo toastmasters international is a brand identity worldwide so it's fantastic so uh, what do you have next for us? There was a, a very nice quotation that you wanted to share by Jeff. Absolutely. It explains what branding is in a nutshell. It's what people say about you when you're not in the room. 
So if you leave a poster on the internet, it's what people take from that poster. And for Toastmasters, it's warm, it's professional, it's self-development, it is leadership, and it is about peer support. And all of that is what everybody who has ever been to a Toastmasters meeting will tell you. Toastmasters worldwide in Singapore, in the UK where I come from, in Copenhagen where I'm based, it's exactly the same. We support each other by telling people what they did well, things they can do differently, and the impact that they've made on us. And that's our brand in one little pool. It's fantastic. So next we want to cover about the brand. So how can we make sure that we're on point? We um, thought about it and uh, Jules came up with this amazing idea where she talked about that. What are the don'ts of the brand? Don't get too excited and get too creative. One of the things I used to do in my day job was deal with coaches and their marketing. And when I say coaches, I mean people who were in the healthcare industry. So what we didn't want was for them to look like they were business coaches or coaches that were working in entrepreneurship. We wanted them to look like healthcare coaches. The first thing we had to do was to get them to put the same message out there time and time again, because you have to set the expectation. By sticking to the Toastmasters brand, we've already ticked that box. So by using the logo, the colors, which are all in the brand manual in the brand portal on TMI, by using the brand colors and the fonts, you will draw people's eyes to the same message. So that means that you are bringing in the same people because they've been attracted by the Toastmasters way. And we look at things visually first. Then we move on to what I think is the most important part of the branding, that's your content. Because this is where you filter your market 100%. This is where you will draw people to you who like the idea of developing themselves, of being successful by their definition of success, by having an impact. These are the things that our content should speak to people with. So we should be warm, we should be friendly, and we should be supportive. So if you have a post out there that has the beautiful burgundy, it has the image on it, it has a brand at the bottom, and it says, do or die. That message might be a little harsh for a Toastmasters <laughs> club. If it's yeah. out it's a brilliant logo and if you're recruiting for people on an extreme sports camp that is exactly what you want but yeah. for text masters we want it more professional so we would say do it the best it's professional it's friendly and we might even go as far as to say we can help you do it the best and that's even more in keeping with the community aspect of the toastmasters Brand. Yeah, that's uh, fantastic. I think while you share your uh, slide, I'll just sum it up and actually tell you that, that the things that Jules are actually telling you, you can also learn and use that in your own branding situations because it is very well designed and uh, it is very well organized and if you organize your own brand in the same way as jules is talking about it will be consistent and as jules always says this and i'll share this is that branding is trust so just like her example of the mobile phones you trust a system you trust something and you want to use it that is what a brand is and if you're a good brand, people behind your back talk really well about you. And if you're not, well, that's also a brand. So um, it's, it, I have a question from a user who's live with us. 
I'll share this. Uh, we can't see the name because this is some uh, Facebook thing that they have for groups. So let me see. The question is, am I allowed to produce, example, a coffee cup with the Toastmaster logo if I stick to the brand manual guidelines? Or do I have to order all souvenirs from the Toastmaster's shop? A coffee cup would count as clip art or a cartoon. And that sits really well with lots and lots and lots of companies. But we're about people. We are about the, the face of people. I am not someone who really likes to do things like this. I find them really outside my comfort zone. But I do it because it's about being the face of the brand. It's about connecting with you to help you which is why we have my email address over everything I ever do, because I am here to help. And I'm a person, so that's why we say coffee cups, no. If, however, you happen to be sat doing a live and your coffee cup like this happens to be Toastmaster branding, then that's different because it's not cartoony. It's about you as a person. Yeah, just to add to that, if you want to produce a coffee cup, you can, but you need uh, approval from Toastmasters International and the company that is producing the cup, like making the cup and then putting the brand on that needs to be aware of the branding rules. Uh, this session is more to do with creating your communication about your uh, club. That's the biggest uh, point that we want, and we want consistency, and we want to help you be there consistent. So before the club meeting, you post something, how you post it, that's what you post. We want to make it easy because designing on Canva is not one of the goals of Toastmasters. Yes, it's communication and everything, and it's good to learn new softwares, but if your meeting is like, for me, if it's like tomorrow, and I need to, as a VPPR, I need to produce something, it's going to be really hard for me to concentrate with my current commitments. So how do I, how do we make it easy? So Jules has uh, mentioned. So Jules, do we want to cover this slide first on um, that you wanted to share about the branding? This one? Basically, it's a quick quiz to see if you're online with me. And the question okay. is, would you call this on brand? Hmm. So I would say that it looks really nice. First things, English session, and it talks about when it is, which is very important. The date is there, but I don't know which 1st of February it is. So I don't know if it's this year, next year, last year, for free, online and in person. So it's hybrid. It's a quiz time. And uh, it's a nice picture, but this purple is kind of distracting. It's not matching the logo it's too bright uh, it's pink or purple and I'm, I'm really bad with colors my daughter is the one who's the expert who corrects me no no this is uh burgundy or uh this is i don't know can cyan i don't know so <laughs> she's the expert but yeah i think there's a few a few misses there are quite a lot of misses and it's a real shame because the language is greatly on brand improvised speeches genuine feedback free online in person it it talks about improvement but please don't ever mess with the logo we have a logo it has a burgundy edge which has been deliberately designed so it's always on brand um the colors are totally off even the blue is not the right blue the people in the background, they look engaged, they look professional. So any one of those photos on a proper burgundy or blue background would have made the real difference, strip all the colors out. Hmm. It makes sense. It's verbally on brand, visually, no. And our next one, how about okay, this? Let me, let me try this, okay, so. Oh no, this logo is by us, right? How about this? Okay, Con okay, this one, the box. Congratulations to Mukti Representatives Area 6 Division Competition. Yeah, but it doesn't have, it, it's using acronyms, TMC, which is Toastmasters Club, because I am part of Toastmasters Club, I know. 
but uh, I don't understand. The pictures are really nice. Evaluation, humorous. No, I, I think it's really, it's congratulations, it's nice, but doesn't have the logo, doesn't talk about which club it is, talks about the area, but. Uh, if we took all the words out of that, it would probably look like a bridal advert. Because like a? Bridal advert for a wedding. Bridal <laughs> It's champagne, it's gold, it's soft toned. And then we've stuck four photos mm. on it. Nothing wrong with the photos per se. They're professional, they're engaged. But it looks more like the, the four wedding uh, event planners rather than winners of a Toastmasters competition. Yeah, okay. Yeah, makes sense. My next oh. one. Okay. I'll give her a clue. The colours are right. Yeah, the colors are right, but they're too, the fonts, I mean, talk about, I mean, Sandra's picture is really professional. Uh, I mean, yeah, it could have been the font. The font is too distracting. I love that it has the day and the date and the time, but doesn't tell me the duration, the power of storytelling paradigm shift. So it's an open house event but it's not an open house event it's like a speech by sandra right on like like a what do you call it an educational session our comments when i presented this to a room of division directors not our current division directors um they felt it was either a spiritualist the power <laughs> of storytelling paradigm shift i'm going to you know recreate your future because the photo actually fits with that more than a professional um, and some of the less kind people said it looked more like an adult photo. So mm -hmm. it's the right colours, but we need to be careful with our language and with our, the whole visual image as we present it. Whoa. And that's my final one. Advanced, another level online. Ugh. Okay, now my head goes, turns around, and um, it's too much. A L O, Aloha, Toastmasters Club. S another level online advanced. Okay, another. Okay, that's the name of the club. I have to figure How things out in this one. <laughs> well, it's there. I think it took me about 45 seconds, but it that's not supposed to be. Save oh, the date, Saturday. Good. You have two seconds at most. Yeah. to get your message across so if you mm. can't see hence why we use the logo because too many words yes you have two seconds at most to grab someone's attention get your message across or their scroll and you have to have a split second to get their attention that yes. would scroll past um from a branding perspective too much gold it should be yellow, not gold. Um, there are more fonts on there than there are fonts in my saved tabs for two businesses. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the other thing and is... I think, as I said, you know, the, the date and time, it's starting at 11 a.m., it's ending, that's good. But the theme, de dreams and ambitions, it, it's, yeah, I agree with you 100%. I'm not even sure what it is. I mean, I'm assuming it's a meeting, a, a normal Toastmasters meeting. Hmm. But there's nothing there to say that's what it is. And if I have to assume what it is, then do you think that's inclusive? I might no. feel that that's because... a message for the existing members because they're in on the joke and I'm not. And that's yeah. a decision that we make completely subconsciously. Yeah, your point is absolutely valid. We need more guests to come in. I understand that this is obviously, I had to figure it out by the way, that it's an online meeting. It's only an online meeting, but and uh, online meetings also originate from a city, from a place. So, and the name of the club, 
uh, so a lot of confusions in this one yeah but i don't actually know if culturally where i'm going to end up i know it's yeah. english speaking the posters in english but having been a member of clubs in different countries i do know that if i go into a uk meeting there is a slightly different experience than if i go into a danish one they're still toastmasters it's still very very similar but there are some slight differences and it's much easier if you know what you're going to get yeah than it is if you don't which is the whole point of branding we're telling you it's a toastmasters meeting we're telling you it's district 95 in our own words but we are not putting the um, crucial information in to make those expectations easier to meet. That was my last of the slides. And, but while I'm here, I just want to say one thing. Recently, I've seen a lot of things where we've included um, items that are uh, branded elsewhere. A uh, club used a Barbie one recently because of the hype on the Barbie film. And it sounds clever to think, oh, lots of people are looking at Barbie, let's look at Barbie. But it's a double-edged sword because there's lots of Barbie out there, so people aren't really looking at Barbie. It's yeah. not compliant, but even worse, you could actually find yourself faced with a solicitor's letter and legal action because you're using an image that's trademarked somewhere else. So if you are using yeah. images, use them from the TMI or from your own club just to be sure that you're not going to fall foul of licensing issues. Yeah. And there has been a club in our district that has been fined for using copyrighted material. Yes, so that's true. Stick to the plan. It's safe, effective. <laughs> And it gets you to the people that you need to be speaking to. Yeah, and while you're talking about the Toastmasters International website, I would also like to talk about the District 95 website, which is right now on the screen. It In the PR section, it's there. But I can understand sometimes, you know, you don't want to, you want to talk to someone. So Jules has been kind enough to provide her email address uh, as you can see in the scroller below, so you can write to her. And uh, But please understand, we're all volunteers here. It, there's no turnaround immediate timeline, so just little, be a little patient. We are all volunteers here, and we want uh, everything to be the best, but it takes a little bit of time. If you want it quick, the website is there. You can definitely find the solutions. We In the end, we have a, we have a surprise for you. So Jules, should I share the screen and then switch this one off? Yeah, I'm gonna keep the email there so that you don't forget to connect with Jules. Okay, so now Jules, as I, I have this, you can see the image uh, of uh, Canva on the screen? Yep. Okay, awesome. So Jules uh, shared a lot of please don't do this. This is what Jules will be evaluating and telling uh, how is this right or is this okay to use? This is perfectly on brand. We have the pathways and the logo. The colors are from the manual. The language is welcome and open and we've included the District 95 strapline reach for your dreams. Straplines, again, please use the official ones and don't make them up as you go along. Um, we've got our location. And this the brilliant thing about this is that everything can be taken out and your own stuff put in. The photo yeah. is of a meeting in progress. You can put your yeah. meeting in progress in there. Or if, like my club's an online club, with permission of the members attending, you can have yeah. your little jail box. It's yeah. all done for you. 
so you don't yeah. have to try and recreate the wheel and if you're doing this is a, an announcement of a meeting if your meetings are every week or every fortnight people will look for the same picture so you might have a guest who couldn't go last week but he'll keep an eye out for the next one because he's free and that's the slow burn side of marketing yeah because it works at different paces i know that it's taken two and a half years to bring clients on board and then others have signed up from one webinar it's yes that kind of you have to run a long game and a short game this is part of the long game it's getting it there so that people go i keep seeing it i keep seeing it the universe is sending me a signal i keep seeing it. <laughs> Or whatever it is in their belief system, but that's yeah. what comes across. And that's why we need to try and not invent the wheel, not try and do something hugely different, but be consistent. Exactly. And I like to point out that when we created this, we had this in mind that you can just edit this. For instance, uh, just take this uh, famous out of there and I will write Oslo. And then just one example that I want to give and then centralize it. You, you want to take the team out. You want to keep the team. You can keep it. This is the meeting timing. Sometimes there's networking before, so you can add that. Date is fine. Uh, always mention the day, the date, the month, the year, so that sometimes, you know, um, if they see it because when you're posting it on Facebook, maybe they see it some other time and it just needs to have that correct information this could be the address of the club it's in the basement it's on the first floor it's do this or that and then this is for uh, Facebook if they search famous Toastmasters on Facebook or LinkedIn you should find it out or Oslo Toastmasters or Copenhagen Toastmasters uh, and then I always uh, encourage people to use this logo for pathways uh, because then people will ask about it uh, guests are welcome membership open this is the district 95 logo uh, sorry slogan which is reach for your dreams so just stick with this what we're going to do is below this we're going to share the link all you got to do is um, you can edit it you can save a copy for yourself from this section on uh, called files um, just make a copy of it and and then edit it if I just share with you the last thing here, it even has the brand. Obviously, do not use anything like which is not on point because this is an old version that I found online and uh, it has lots of templates. But why worry about templates when you just need to worry about your next meeting? So this is what you can share. Page five of this template, just copy it and use it. So I'm going to get out of this and switch this off. Also on the so. website, the District 95 website, there is a link in the resources section to the Moonlight Projects. And there is also templates on there that they have done too. So there's so much out there for you to choose from yes. so that you don't have to spend hours agonizing over what to put out there. We've done it for you yeah and we want it on brand because similar images will create oh toastmasters oh you know i saw a toastmaster ad just like this in um in iceland we don't have clubs right now but it's part of the district so i have to mention it or greenland or denmark or they're going to be the same and oslo so it will be on same brand it's like an apple ad or an android samsung ad which is same across the world so that's what you got to keep in mind so this was the first edition of the branding session and if you have any questions you have jules's email address uh next we're going to we have planned a lot of sessions about keeping it on brand sharing with you uh answers to your questions and different things so keep watching this space which is district 95 pr group on facebook and uh, please share it with your VPPRs. And the planned session went on time. I would like to thank Jules for today. Thank you for joining. Anything you'd like, last word, I'll let you close the session. 
Well, all I'd like to say is thank you to everyone for listening. And thank you because I know you're going to go out there and keep everything nicely on brand because now you know why. And yeah. my biggest takeaway is you're not on your own. There's a whole community of us out there. So please reach out. I'm always happy to answer the, the questions, whether it's marketing or whether it's branding. It's always here to help. Thank you. Yes. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.